Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. In today's CCNP video boot camp, a five minute boot camp for you route and T-shoot fanatics. And what we're going to look at here today is some BGP troubleshooting. We're going to be on the live equipment here in just a moment. And actually I want to bring up the diagram here first of all to show you what we just might be troubleshooting today. And we've got peerings here between routers 2 and 1, 1 and 3, 3 and 4. You can see where the different AS numbers are coming into play here. And right now we've got a route, a loopback on router 4 that's being advertised into BGP. So we're going to do a little bit of troubleshooting here if necessary. So if you want to pause the video and jot that down, I think that's a great idea. Otherwise, we're going to move forward. So let's go ahead and hit the live equipment here. We're on router 4. So let's run show IP BGP here and see what we see. We've got the network in there and we see valid and best. Remember, we have to have, as I like to put it, the asterisk and the arrowhead uh, next to that network number for it to be considered valid and best. The next top of all zeros, quick tip there, that just simply means the route was locally originated. So you don't have to troubleshoot that. So let's go down to router 3, since that's the only router in our network that is directly peered with router 4. And if we run a show IP BGP here, everything looks good here. So it doesn't look like we need to do any troubleshooting because we've got valid and best next to the network number. We have a next top address that is apparently reachable. Let me show you a little command here that really helps with that. And that's actually putting the network number after show IP BGP. You can see what the origin is, what the metric, the local preference value. And we are always looking for valid and best. And of course, this is also an external route. It's an EBGP route because it's being learned from a peer in another EI, excuse me, another BGP AS. Now let's hop over to router one and see what we see there. Now at first glance, this looks fine, right? Because you've got the asterisk here and that looks valid. So everything's fine, except you know that everything here is not fine because we don't see the arrowhead. We don't see valid and best and that's what we've got to see. So if we were troubleshooting this, where would we go from here? Well, that's why we peeked at that show IP BGP command because people tend to forget about this one, putting the number after show IP BGP. But you could see, uh, you know, paths, one available, everything's fine there, not advertised to any peer. Uh, inaccessible, that's never a good word. I've never heard the word inaccessible used in a good way in networking. Origin IGP, local pref 100, valid internal, but again, we don't see best. The problem here is that this router does not have a path then to 172.23.23.4. You can see where it's getting the route from, and in this particular network, we can ping that address, but that's not enough. We've got to be able to ping this next top address, and we're not going to be able to do that. Of course, we'll check it anyway since we're hard-headed but you can see that's not going to work. That's the issue right now. Now there are a couple of ways to get around this, but the one thing we're going to do, it's much more common, it's a good command to be aware of for your CCNP route and T-shoot exams, is that next hop self command. So let's go ahead and run that BGP 1235. And it starts with our neighbor command. And that's router one's address. And of the many, many, many options we have here, we are looking at this one. Next hop self. Disable the next hop calculation for this neighbor. So let's go ahead and bring the live equipment back up. There we go. Let's try that command. Let's do an escape there. Next hop self. And believe it or not, we have found another Cisco command with no options at the end. So that's going to be it right there. And I'm going to do a soft reset. And then we're going to go up to router 1 and see what's cooking there. And now you see valid and best. You also see another major change here. The next hop is 172.12.123.3. If you, I know scrolling can get in the eyes here. You'll notice earlier, can be hard on the eyes that is, You'll notice earlier with show IP BGP when we ran that on router one, the next top was 172.23.23.4. 23, 
and what we needed was a reachable next hop IP address and that one in this case is 172.12.123.3 that's why we're seeing valid and best and we'll go ahead and run show IP BGP with all fours right there and you can see now we see both magic words valid and best now so we're all done right let's look at that diagram one more time and let me bring it up in the other viewer there we go so we've got router 4 with the route originally that's why we saw the next top of all zeros on router 3 we saw that it was valid and best and router 1 it was not originally valid and best but we made it so with the next top self command but we also notice here not advertised any peer on router 1 so let's go down to router 2 and we're not getting anything at all. Now we definitely have the neighbor relationships. They are, you know, 123.1. So all of that is intact. Let's do another quick look at it right there. That's a quicker way to look at it. Show IP BGP summary. So the adjacency has been there for an hour, but now router two is getting nothing. It's not hearing about that route at all. It doesn't even have a valid entry that isn't best. It doesn't have anything at all. Well, that has a little something to do with a with a law, with a rule regarding routes being advertised from one IBGP peer to another. And we are going to take a look at that in the very next CCMP route video boot camp. We're going to stop this one right here for right now. Hit some really good commands there. We saw next top self in action and some show commands as well. So definitely some good stuff for your route and T-shoot exams there. Come on out and join us on Twitter, the blog, Facebook, and we've got plenty of free eBooks coming out on Amazon very shortly as well. Thanks for watching today's video and for making TBA part of your Cisco certification success story.